Hey, Josh Tig, Running Two Farms. Uh, third cattle move of the day here. Just thought I would uh, get a shot of these these cattle grazing here. They've been in this paddock about 15 minutes. Uh, primarily Kentucky 31 fescue. Uh, there is some uh, Eastern Gamma grass right there. Some uh, Eastern Gamma grass coming out. Uh, there is uh, quite a bit of it. It's a little early in the year. Uh, really it would be better if it wasn't being grazed right now but it's uh, mixed in a, a primarily Kentucky 31 uh, fescue stand so it has to get grazed uh, actually we've we've been seeing it increase in here for the last several years we've got a whole lot more than we used to have uh, so we'll have one more move today we got these cattle in here uh, fairly tight they're probably grazing uh i don't know maybe in an eighth of an acre sixteenth of an acre this is the third cattle move today uh we are grazing this uh non-selectively uh, this is what it'll look like right here uh after we've grazed it so uh, we graze this uh let's see i guess yesterday when they was here so uh pretty good grass they've got it eaten down pretty quick here but uh just wanted to uh, get a shot there's one of our uh, mashona influenced heifer calves there you can tell she's got a, a noticeably uh, sleeker hair coat on her there's another uh, mashona influenced heifer behind her uh, as well as here happens to be two more uh, mashona influenced uh, calves uh, both of these are heifer calves as well, so we're uh, hoping to uh, get these girls bred up this fall and uh, increase the Mashona influence in our herd a bit more and uh, get rid of some of these uh, other cows. There's a, there's a straight Angus calf right there. You can, you can tell a big difference in the hair coat between that calf and uh, that calf right there. So. Uh, hoping to increase our heat tolerance and nutritional adaptation with uh, the Mashona cross on these Angus cows. We're really excited about that. We like what we're seeing uh, so far. These, uh, these Mashona calves are just uh, looking fantastic, uh, exactly uh, what we were hoping to see with them. So uh, just wanted to get a shot here to third move of the day. We'll move one more time over here where uh, this guy has decided to go ahead and slide under the poly wire, uh, get a little creep grazing in, I guess. But uh, hope everybody has a fantastic day. You can check us out online at runningtbeef.com or you can like us on Facebook at Running Tea Beef. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure and click the subscribe button on your way out. And I uh, hope everybody has a fantastic weekend.